How can you recover from a stress reaction, especially a stress reaction of your tibia or shin bone? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Stress fractures are a difficult problem for athletes and for active people who like to run or do running sports. But what if it's not quite a stress fracture? Maybe it's a stress reaction or a precursor of a stress uh, fracture. What do you do about that? Well, in this Ask Dr. Geyer video, I address the treatment for a stress reaction. Anil asks, I'm suffering from a stress reaction of my tibia. I'm a cricket player. What should I do? When I'm running, I have pain. Well, I think it's a really important question because it's very often runners who deal with a stress reaction. So a stress fracture results from microscopic stress on the bone without enough to heal. It's essentially an overuse injury. So, you know, basically you get these little microscopic cracks in the bone that turn into almost a hairline fracture. Don't always see it on x-ray. Sometimes you need an MRI or a bone scan. But if you keep running on it, it can become a real fracture. The bone actually breaks and maybe even displaces. Now, a stress reaction is a precursor to a stress fracture. Essentially, it's that increased stress before it becomes the microscopic fracture in the bone. So it's essentially it comes on earlier than a stress fracture. The good thing about it is though, if you limit that overuse, basically cut back on the training, a lot of times it gets better. So if somebody has a stress reaction of the tibia, you base really how you treat it on what it's gonna take to get it to heal. First thing, without question, you stop running. You stop the repetitive stress that's causing that wear and tear on the bone, the shin bone, the tibia, in the first place. And it may not be running for exercise. It could be soccer or cricket in this case, some type of running sport. Now that alone may be enough to take care of it. Stop running for two weeks or three weeks or six weeks, however long it takes. But if you're really struggling to walk and walking is painful, then maybe you put somebody in a walking boot which helps take some of the stress off of it. Maybe you even put the person on crutches and basically tell them to not put weight on it, make them non-weight bearing. That alone should be enough to get better before you need things like bone stimulators or certainly think of any kind of surgical treatment. All right, have you had a stress reaction and how did you get over it? How did you develop it? What did your doctor tell you to do and how long did it take to heal? I bet people watching this video from all around the world would love to hear what you have to say as well. So below this video, share your experience so we can all learn from you. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. I record several of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. Last, I want to understand your injury a little bit better. So in the, or in the description section below this video, there is a link that you can click on where you can tell me about your injury. So click on that link. I'd love to hear more about it so I can help design information that can better help you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.